Hey, what's going on, guys? Hyperion Blue GT Champions here for another custom breeze in Gran Turismo Sport. So, looks like it's definitely going, continuing in for for catching up here on the March 2018 update. So, looks like I'm about to go and get ready to start using the BMW M3 Sport Evolution 1989. Well, this is definitely the the coolest retro classic German sports car for it definitely made use for before the 1990s but I kind of think this is definitely quite very cool looking German sports car for it plus this one is definitely almost like the BMW M3 but it turns out that this is definitely quite very pretty interesting so I might say I'm about to go and get everything ready to go on the custom race so maybe today I'm about to go on taking in here for driving on Nürburgring North and I might be have to go on noon for having a fine weather to try it out this new ride well this new ride is definitely quite very old but it also turns out that it was a late 1980s all right, well, it turns out that I'm about to go and get ready to go and time to do this a little more professional for it. Well, probably the, this category for the BMW M3 Sport Evolution is the N200. I kind of think this is quite very good for a standard performance vehicle to use to drive up with N100 cars. So let's just get this race started and Go on ahead. Well, I'm glad that this is quite very good to see how fast can it go. Well, definitely most like the other N200 cars for it. But probably the N300 cars are probably going to be in it here. Because I'm glad that I'm about to be ready to go in. Ooh, look at this. Engine's about to get ready to wrap up. How awesome to see how that engine sounds to be prepared to wrap this up for it. So, looks like we're going I'm going on over to the notion of it Because this is going to be pretty good for only one lap. I'll just change the traction, then get started. So probably this is going to be a, turns out that it also needs a modern version of the BMW M M3, but probably it will become as well, but glad BMW just definitely bring out the classic M3 in, because this is Sport Evolution. Alright, coming on over to take on the final lap, well probably this only for only one lap. Probably this, this handling should be very light and durable, so just like the Lotus Elise, but very different. I just want to see if Don might be getting used to it to keep it nice and steady. Well, also the interior view was definitely, turns out, very different. But well, I kind of like it, by the way. Alright, so this is going to be quite very interesting race for The race on over to the Nerva Grid, North and the Bay. Could give something else to extend some more durations of total mileage. But yes, I'm really going for a little mileage. And see the differences? The opponent just used the M3 Sport Evolution with red on it. Well, mine is definitely colored in black with, with red types in it. Because this is definitely turns out a like of it. Well, also, this is definitely going to be more lighter than it usually. I'll just have to be more gently to try to catch up 
it's about getting off the track. Okay, just pass the MR2 in the Supra, just giving a little nice and neat. So this vehicle was definitely added as part of the March 2018 update because this is very good for this BMW. Well probably if, if everybody loves BMW M3 series because this one is definitely quite very classic because they also use many kinds of logic wherever they want but especially the, the official BMW M power library. Well, I'm glad that this is definitely quite very popular for the official automotive brand. Okay, looks like coming on over. Still catching up. Just make it nice and neat. Well, it also does drive a little bit fast, but it takes a lot of good handling it. That could be quite very easy while you're playing on professional mode. Well, probably the difficulty. Coming on over. Well, probably the tail lights could also barely blink in in yellow. I might say that because it will also give a little more directional turns while you're driving on the course. Okay, we're still going on the halfway point. Well, probably that was quite very easy to drive around North and the Ipe for only a single lap. But probably the thing, the Alpine A110 Premier Edition was definitely coming in first place. I'll make sure I'm about to go and catch up after I'm about to go and catching up the Toyota SFR racing concept. That could be a quite very easy point. Well, probably this car only has a bit gear transmission. Well, I'm kind of think this is definitely quite very good for this car to drive on five-speed transmission. All right, it's like first place on on the road. Oh, Jeepers! I cannot believe I almost get crashed into it. Good thing having some brakes to get some a little more sticky as a bike. Well, probably just giving a little more in case of a handling problem. Just probably use the brake to solve this issue. Oh dang it, I can't think I overdo it. Ouch. So yeah, that's definitely the hardest part while you're driving the BMW M3 Sport Evolution. So anyway, there's that crack on the taillights, but this is definitely quite very brand new to see on the visual damage. Sound might be needed to be repaired after the race is in. Probably this old BMW M3 can fairly take some new tricks for this old dog. Alright, time to go and catch up to the Alpine again. Sorry for my clumsiness for this turn on the carousel, folks.
safe going on and maintain the safe. I'll be able to try to win this race with this weird damage look on it. Well, probably on the left side. So I'll make sure I'll have to take it nice and easy. Clean, successful path. Okay, it looks like now Pink doesn't stand a chance for it. Because this one is definitely German M power to be used to drive on over at the notion of Ilpe. Gotta have to do it best. Okay, coming on over to the end of the flower bed corner. Now onward over to the straight. The long straight might be quite good for standard vehicles to see how fast can it go. But probably I might have to keep on the lookout eye on the Alpine A110 Premier Edition. This one only has 7 speed, because this one only has 5 gear transmission. I should probably keep an eye on it. Okay, coming on over on downhill turn. Be exercise caution until you're about to reach the final corner. There you go. One last stretch in the finish line and this is going to be a first win. Man, that's, that was a one brutal race for this first round folks. So, it looks like BMW M3 Sport Edition was giving a good start, but definitely never saw that broken crack on the taillights before. Well, I kind of think this is quite very brand new, but it also takes damage at all. So, looks like might be taking up some first place earnings and going over to take on the next round. I might be able to be exited out for a bit. Alright, well, probably this is definitely quite harder for fun. But maybe anyway, I should probably have to, to pick on over to take into the next round. So, scoop the circuit. Might be goes in for the afternoon condition. Alright, looks like it's good to go. Well, probably the hardest part here while driving the BMW M3 Sport Evolution because, well, this one is definitely quite good handling it, but it also takes caution whenever you're, whenever you're driving it to take a lot more serious damage whenever you saw some crack on the taillights or probably the headlights of course just trying to let you guys know while you're driving this car because this will take some uh, temptations that you will have to do it but in case you already know how to drive the BMW M3 because some of the BMW drivers are always being experts all right so probably change up to TCS number two because one always gets a little more light handling. Mm. 
But maybe let's just give it a shot. So race two of three is going on the way. Racing at the scuba circuit. Now I hope this is going to be a lot of pretty easier to do this. Probably like the notion of if they had never did. Now let's see how this handling can faster it on the scuba. Probably have to give something a little more help for the break balance. Maybe it might need to give a little help. Well, maybe only in the front. That could definitely gain a lot of fully controlled stability. That'll be might need it to get a little more well balanced. Watch out for that super on the back. Alright, take on the tight squeeze on this fair fence corner. Quite very useful in drift trial because, but hey, looks like BMW M3 Sport Evolution has finally found a new place to use for drift trial. That would be might be quite very helpful to use, but especially this one needs standard standard E production time. Change back into two to make it normal handling. It. Back into one. Going to do some awesome freestyle. Alright, I finally see them. Now this might be the chance to go and overtake the last two. Well, probably the screen monitor animation is just different and barely seen here on Dark Shaded Quebec. Well, it looks like this is a very interesting, much like the other classic vehicles, probably in the 80s and the 90s. 
Well, definitely the Marines are quite very popular in the bad street for cooler models here in the past. Okay, well, the Alpine came in first, but this is definitely for the best. Alright, well, second place. It's giving here for it, but that's quite going on silver. Well, this might be quite good to use on drip trial. Well, anyway, looks like clean race bonus does come in handy for it. I'll just add it here and give it all in. Well, looks like that's quite pretty challenging on scoop. Alright, looks like time for one last race here on Gardens Dragon Trail. Here we go and let's see how it goes and give it a little more speed over at the starting grid. Well, let's just kick up the engine on the first gear and time to go straight. Just turn on the lights, or is it the car lights just did? Well, it's not BMW M3 just turning on the lights itself, but I guess this is quite very funny at all. But it was well, definitely it was brighter to see. Well, it was the other cars was doing it. Well, because this is going to be more challenging to drive on sunrise, this could be good for early daybreak driving. Whenever a case when friends and players are about to go and wake up early in the morning at 6 a.m. sharp, just giving a little more time to do a little early workout. But hey, looks like this is quite very good be used for a little next segment. I know this is going to be quite very interesting in case it, Well, some of our deep players are looking forward to be prepared for early workout training at 6 a.m. Well, separately, standard drivers always want to do something like regular times of their own. So, looks like definitely four laps driving on Dragon Trail Garden is going to be quite very challenging for it. Yeah, just wanted to check to see how, are there any scratches around? Well, nope, I think it's all good. Okay, second lap, just giving a little halfway there.
Well, send this one over on that sharp turn after I took a long straight. Give it some pampered pace. Oh! I should probably have to be more reasonable to drive this one. Well, probably this would be a no drifting handling zone because, well, it only has to be used for specifically giving a little power slide to make it better. But definitely no car smokes to be seen. I'm just trying to go for power slide, not just ordinary drift. Onward over to the third lap, I believe, folks. Looks like this race is definitely not yet over. Well, I hope this is going to be quite very challenging to face, face up against these N300 cars. But probably in case this might be quite getting much harder than it looks. But it was quite very simple while you're driving on the most hardest apps ever to be used. Alright, looks like time to get a little more close eye on the Alpine. Overtake the Toyota SFR first and then the Premier Edition. Blinking lights needed to be on as well. Alright, no bumping allowed. This is all about having a little early daily workout. Looks like this is going to be going on the same turn. Gonna have to do it power slide. Hold it. Hold it. Well, this might be quite very good to drive handling it on garden. But the flying corner might be quite very good for any lightweight cars like the BMW M3 Sport Evolution. Alright, final lap and this is it. I hope this is going to be very closer until it's overextended with some good mileage distance. No! Well, definitely a little more careful next time because that's definitely quite so close that I'm about to get caught up in back in second place. Well, I should probably have to be very gentle while driving this car. Okay, just take a little turn left turn. Well, let me see what's going on here in the rear mirror. Well, definitely the Alfa Romeo 4C was definitely shown up and the Alpine A1 Centenary Edition was still here too. I'm just giving it all I got. Just 
together had to take it very personally to try to forcefully but not taking too much. So a lot of handling could might be good, but as a reminder, but don't take it too much speed break on it because that will be separately moving while you're trying to make some good drift points while you're doing these drift trials. Just giving a little more heads up tips here on drifting one on one folks. Don't ever lose a lot of drift points while you're taking an advantage turn. This will be quite giving a little more helpful ways to do a little drifting education. So looks like finally made it in first place. But man, that was definitely the most difficult race ever. Plus with it added a four laps, I mean. All right, looks like time for us in the earning summary to give it here. But luckily, I'm just probably have to be back here on the million, but well, I'm still trying to have to go and gain some more credits here for you folks. This might be quite very pretty simple to be here for but only have to use here whenever there's some new events here on the GT League so daily workout complete and let's see which car should I get oh nice I should probably need another Red Bull X 2014 junior to be used for as a library design but the color white might be quite good I'll just add another one here Well, probably this is going to be very closer for it, but probably tomorrow for a mile ex exchange, this is going to be become very different colors to be needed as well. Just give me a let you guys know for it, but well, looks like the, the original M3 was been definitely part as the Group A Racing. This might be pictured here in 1987. So. Looks like the BMW M3 Sport Evolution was definitely quite very good for a classic sports car in the 1980s. But this is quite very good to see how used here as a group 8 racing during the DTM championships. Well, probably I might say it is because it was definitely used here sometime around in the mid 80s or probably the late night 80s. This might be quite very good by, by the way, but folks who love that BMW M3 like this newer, older model, this is definitely quite very good to be, turns out to be represented as the official. Oh yeah, anyway, I kind of think I just wanted to show you both, but well, nothing to be shown here on the collection, but you might I might be able to do a little library shopping or create a very own library here for you folks. Well, anyway, this one is definitely quite cool, but it also does take a little drifting course to be needed for a little example. Just giving, just trying to use this car as a basic drift car, for example, just giving the course. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. Check it out on appearingbluegtpro.dinatoart.com to check out some cool arts that you want to see. And also my wiki fandom on the second link below in the description if you are interested to take a look and see how, how this article that you really want to read about it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys next time to do some more racing custom events on Gran Turismo Sports. Thank you and have a great day.